Hi everyone, it's me Darlene. I am here with a non-update, non-video kind of video. <laughs> I really planned on doing some kind of a video tonight. Well, I shouldn't say I really planned it. That was my thoughts when I woke up. When I woke up, I felt like I think later I'll be able to do at least a crochet video. I thought that would be a good way to just take my mind off things. And my day started out kind of bad right after that and then it got a little worse and then it just completely blew up and it just I can't do anything I'm just pacing the floors waiting for this day to go by so I could just go to bed and then tomorrow will be Wednesday and then it's like when will Sunday ever get here and I could be on a plane and I don't even know if that's going to be a good thing or not because my life is just completely unpredictable right now. I don't know a lot of stuff that's going on. And, but then I do find out other things that are going on that just upset me in many ways. So I, I don't know. I'm a little bit of a mess and I have a constant headache and it's just, it's just the knot in my stomach. It feels awful. Other than that, I'm still like pretty sure that I'm making the right choices because I, you know, still haven't talked to my mother. And I know that to some of you that might sound like that's not an uplifting thing to be happy about. But in my case, it's a sign that I might be able to make a break. <laughs> I'm going to run for it. It, it still feels horrible to me. I feel like I have completely deserted my mother and, you know, there's just a lot of stuff going on. And I'm not going to really be talking about it here on my public YouTube channel anymore because I, I you know, I even did get a comment because people always find a way to say something crappy if they feel like saying something crappy. And I don't need that. Nobody needs to hear shit from anyone. Nobody does. Even if you're a really shitty person, nobody needs to tell you. <sighs> you know, it's like it's nobody's business to tell you what you are. You have the right to be who you are and you don't have to hear it. So I'm doing everything I can in my power to protect myself. It's not possible to protect myself from everyone, but it is possible for me to put up some barriers so I can have a little bit of a safe place. And you guys know that I'm feeling like Patreon is more of a safe place for me. And it's, um, I, you know, that could change too. I could eventually say, what the hell did I do? I mean, I could eventually have so many patrons that all of a sudden I feel overwhelmed with that. I don't know. I don't know how it's going to go. But one thing that I feel pretty sure about is if somebody pays to watch you, they're not likely to be a troll. And the other good thing is if a troll does get in and leaves a comment, I can block them and then they can't watch the video. Whereas on YouTube, I can block somebody from commenting, but I can't block them from the video. Now, even on Patreon, they can come in with a dummy name or whatever, make an, another account, but, you know, I don't really care who's watching as long as they're not going to leave me crappy comments and make me feel like a piece of shit, because I feel like a piece of shit enough as it is. You know, I don't need help in that area, so, um, you know, if they really are curious and want to stay in there and watch the videos, they're going to have to keep their mouth shut or they're just going to keep getting booted out. So, oh, oh, I'm so, how come the pain can't go away? It's just, it's like heartbreak and just, oh, how old am I? I you know, I really feel like I'm a, a young child. I feel like a young, hurt child. Like I've never grown up a day in my fucking life. It's... It's just everything I'm going through, I don't know if I've ever experienced anything quite like this. And it's hard for me, but I just have to keep moving forward. Um, so anyway, I have some more updates on Patreon. I think I'm so confused as to what I have done or not done or said or not said. Because so far today, I have recorded four videos and... Two of them didn't make it because they were just so completely bizarre that even I would not put them up there. One, the whole video was practically me crying the whole time. And I was like, he, 
I even edited the whole thing that was going to go on Patreon, and I was like, what are you doing? I mean, it's just like, you know, even I, I guess, have some limits. It's because I feel like that's what I felt like in this channel. My videos are about me, and if my life is going good, you're going to get happy-go-lucky Darlene. If my life isn't going good, then you know what? You want me to take a break for a month? Because I don't know when I'm going to ever feel better. It could be a month. It could be a week. It could be a year. I have to just keep going because that's what I do for my channel. I try to upload daily, and I can't change or fake who I am that day. But the crying was a little extreme, and I was like, okay, I can't upload this. <laughs> so I trashed it. And now I just recorded a whole video for you guys. And my face was so wet from crying. And I guess I thought I had white. I, mean, I can see right now. It's like it just lingers in my eyes. And I was like a whole wet shiny ball. And I was like, I don't need to accentuate the ball here, the head ball. <laughs> and then I was just getting carried away with certain things, so I just trashed that one, and I'm starting over. Uh, at least I laughed there for a minute. <sighs> so I'm just jumping in to tell you guys that... Um, there are some updates of some kind on Patreon that are not, like, all crying. <laughs> I just like that I have more control over there. And because I've been given that control, I just don't feel like putting, you know, the very raw stuff on YouTube anymore. I mean raw, like, not nasty raw kind of thing. I'm just talking about where I spill my heart and soul out to you guys. I just don't feel like doing that on YouTube anymore because I have a place over there. And it's... Um, you know, my audience is still very tiny over there. Some of my videos, I go through a whole video and all the editing and everything, and there'll be 13 views on it. You know, it's like, why do I even bother? Well, it's because I still get to get it out there, and eventually more people will join the party, I guess, and those videos are always still there. So, like, when somebody joins, they can watch all the videos that I've uploaded, you know, since I've been doing it. Right now, I'm still at, most videos are at the $1 per month level. There are some videos that are at the $3 per month level. Those are my mostly uncut and totally uncensored ones. Those are the ones where I do a mostly uncut version for Patreon, and then I cut it more for, like, how it would normally appear on YouTube. And, um, and I say mostly uncut because even the uncut ones, I have to cut them because I pause so many times or I repeat so many times and, you know, I just don't need anybody sitting through that bullshit. And so that's just a little something that I used as the $3 reward. And I figure I'm not taking away from anyone because they can always go watch the regular version. I still have to think of something for $5 patrons and I will eventually. It's hard because I don't offer something, you know, tangible. Uh, you know, a lot of people will like send things and I don't know. I just... And you can't do giveaways as an incentive. You can't say like $5 patrons will be entered into a monthly giveaway. You're not allowed to do that. So I'm just learning the ropes and I'm just so sick today. So sick. It just... It just... This day did not end how I expected at all. I mean, it. when something is going on in family dynamics, um, scratching my head like a monkey, things come out of the woodwork that you don't expect at all. And uh, I just got, I hit, I got hit with a whammy today. And it, um, it just, in the way, in the way it wasn't surprising in the way it was. It was it was very upsetting to me, and I didn't talk about that on Patreon. I, I won't talk about that at all. I don't know. I, I just need to stop talking right now and get some kind of a video up there and let you guys know that I feel sick, and, and I really can't report anything because I don't really know much of anything, and I will, um, you know, all I can do is say, if you're really, really curious, for a buck a month, you can go check out Patreon, and you can cancel at any time. You know, I keep saying that 
my YouTube channel isn't going to change, and, and really it hasn't. I mean, if I'm still putting a video here every single day, then, then it hasn't really changed. Will some of the content change? Probably content that I used to do here, but I had stopped doing. Like, if I do comments at all, and it's weird with me in comments, because sometimes it just makes me sick to my stomach. But, you know, like, I had read some comments there, and, you know, different things, because I hadn't done that here in a long time. And I thought, well, maybe I'll bring that back over there. But usually if I stop doing something, it's because I'm not really, like, into it anymore. Look at me, I'm hugging myself like a little scared little girl. That's what I feel like. I feel five years old, like I'm a scared, alone little girl, almost like I've been left in this house alone, and I, I have no security, and just uh, nobody. I have nobody, nobody I can trust. I feel like I have very few people in this world that I can trust and that's really sad and then it's like is that my fault is it because I I attract that or I cause people to not want to be trustworthy to me I you know I don't I don't know but it it's like I'm I'm running out of people. I will soon be standing all alone. And, and you know what? That's probably what I need. I probably need to be standing all alone and to remove all the toxic people from my life so I can start fresh. And then maybe I can move on in the world and meet different kinds of people because I've never been out in the world as a sober person. I was a drunk when I got together with my husband and I got sober while I was with him, so I've never dated anyone while I was sober. I've never worked outside of the house as a sober person, and not that I want to work outside the house, but, uh, you know, it might be helpful if I could possibly go out into society at some point and do something, volunteer, do something. I've never lived alone as a sober person. There's just a lot that I haven't done. You know, and all the choices I ever made that were major were made as a drunk. So maybe I'll just make some different choices and be quicker to not accept certain people in my life. I certainly would not choose an alcoholic this time. You know, if I met a man, uh, you drink, sorry, been there, done that. I don't need another alcoholic. Loved my husband, but he was an alcoholic, and I wouldn't choose that now. And friends, you know, if... If you're draining me, I don't want that anymore. I don't think I should feel drained around a friend. So, you know, I just would make different choices. I really would. I hope someday I get the chance. I hope that I can get through this and before I die, just see what it is like to live without having to care for anyone other than myself and, you know, caring for and about my son and my granddaughter and not caring about the other world who pretty much didn't help me, you know, <laughs> so <laughs> let's just go find a different way, and anyway, I'm going to just stop now, because I have to edit this, and I have more pacing to do, and maybe I can go outside and cry some more, and get my face all shiny again, and <laughs> thank you so much for watching, I will be back with more soon, bye.